Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to make a speed ramp with multiple keyframes, or a one speed ramped clip sync with a beat drops. Let's begin. First of all I will mark all beat drops, and to see the beats, make sure to select your song and press L on your keyboard twice. Now let's mark all beats. To mark, simply scroll to the beat and press asterisk on your keyboard, I will mark several beats just to show you how it's done, in your case make sure to mark all the beats of the song, and once you are done scroll to the very beginning of your layers. Now right click on your clip, then go to time and select enable time remapping. By moving this time forward I will choose the beginning of the speed ramp, once it's cool, we can scroll to a beat drop, or press K on a keyboard and After Effects will jump right to the marker you have set. Now let's move the time forward again something like that. Then jump to another beat drop marker again and simply do the same thing. For the last beat drop, maybe I will make a speed ramp in reverse, so I will move the time backward. Cool, now I will cut the rest of my clip and then we can select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit value graph. So here is the curve and we should make a smooth speed ramps, let's begin. By moving this first handle up, I will speed up the beginning of the clip, then I will move that another yellow handle down to speed up the ending as well. Note, do not move handles up something like that, your speed ramp will be messed up and won't be smooth, it will be just nothing. So make sure to keep the handles all like in the video. Now let's continue same with the rest. The last curve is a reversed and it looks a bit different, so make sure to make reversed curve like this one. Now we can check the speed ramp. Looks nice, we are done. Let's close graph editor and then make sure to enable frame blending on your clip. Since we have a smooth speed ramp, we need to stabilize the video, otherwise it will look weird. Let's pre-compose that clip. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. To stabilize the video, we have two options. One is a casual stabilization with just a stabilize motion and another one is what pro editors are using. Stabilizing using track camera and track solid layer. In this tutorial I will show you how to stabilize using just a stabilize motion button here. But if you want to learn a pro stabilizing method as well, make sure to check this tutorial. If you are an old AM film subscriber, you already know it, but if you are new on AM film, I highly recommend watching that tutorial and master your stabilization. Enough words and let's click on stabilize motion. I will make track point slightly larger and then drag on the wheel, because I want to stabilize and lock on in the center the wheel of the car. Make sure to drag point on the high contrasted spot something like that and let's make that inner box slightly smaller to focus on the point better and make analyzing smoother. I will make large one a bit larger as well and then let's click on options here. Make sure to select RGB here and then check adapt feature on every frame. By selecting these settings, you make your tracking a bit more accurate, so let's hit OK now and then hit on Analyze Forward button. Once analyzing is done, click on Apply and then hit OK. Now we can close tracking window and then check stabilization. As you see the video is stabilized, but we should fix something here, first these black edges here and then we should center the wheel. Let's begin with black edges. Press S on your keyboard and slightly scale the video. Once black edges are gone, we can center the video, but first make sure to enable proportional grid from here. It will help us to find the very center of the screen. Now simply move your clip until the wheel is in the center. Let's check it one more time. Looks amazing, I'm happy with it. But if you've mentioned there is black edge here and to fix it, we can scale the video again, but in case you don't want to scale more, we can use a motion tile effect. Check mirror edges and then change output height and width to 200 and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.